Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back for another quick post fight analysis video from last night. All right, y'all. Alexis Davis versus Sabina Mazo. Man, school was in session with this fight for real, man. I just really felt like uh, Alexis Davis. Shout out to Alexis Davis. You know, she kind of reinvented herself with this fight. Uh, you know, she looked strong. She looked strong as hell at 135, and she went in there, executed a good game plan against a very good striker and a Sabina Mazo. And I say good striker and not elite striker because you know she's still a young prospect. And uh, leading up to this fight. I said Sabina Mazo would win this fight. I predicted her to win this fight, but the one thing that was going to hold her back was her inactivity and her uh, slow starting, uh, her slow starting ways. You know, she she has some habits of just kind of going through rounds, picking her shots, being a little too stingy with her strikes, and um, not really letting loose with the power and authority we know she has inside of her. You know, she's a very strong striker, and she's young. You know, at this age, she should be letting her hands go. But I think she was just too. Uh, too technical in some some aspects of her striking she did let her hands go in the first in the first round but you know I, I just feel like she wasn't doing enough fluid movement alexis davis she went in there executed a good ga game plan like i said when i played it out as a prediction in my scenarios i said look uh alexis davis has that ability to go in there smother the offense take it to the ground and just dominate and that's what she did she dominated with her grappling all day uh, every minute of every round just about just about like where it really counted she really went in there and dominated every minute on the ground that they were on the ground um looking back at the first round mazo was pumping out good jabs she was working some nice striking straight up the middle i said okay this might be a repeat of viviana arujo but the difference between mazo and arujo is arujo will let her hands go she will commit to a good jab and if it's working she will work those hands but in this fight here a lot of good shots straight up the middle but um not enough movement, not enough movement in keeping Alexis Davis at bay because Alexis Davis was still taking shots and trying to punch her way in, which was smart on her part because when she did that, when she stepped into the pocket, she was able to catch a kick from Mazo, take her down, and just dominate her on the ground and that side control, be active, land knees to the body, and just control her, you know, going for those submission attempts and just had good ground control in that first round. So the first round was all Alexis Davis, in my opinion. The stand-up favored Mazo, but... Davis definitely won that round. The second round, this is where I said I fall in. I, I fell. Um, I, I was falling in love with the calf kick now because I'm a boxing fan, and you know I love the jab, and the calf kick is very similar, if not alike, with the uh, calf kick. And I love that calf kick from my Alexis Davis in this round. She was very confident with that leg kick. She was constantly tearing, tearing that lead leg of Sabina Mazo. Sabina Mazo's laying the shots up top. But it's like Sabina Mazo has trouble multitasking right now. Being at this age of 23, she needs to know how to put everything together. To, you know, mix up the offense slash defense. You know, while you're throwing, you got to know how to defend. Like in boxing, you can throw a jab, but at the same time, slip or throw a hand up to parry their oncoming jab while you can still land your own offense. Like in MMA, whenever she's throwing those shots up top, you know, she know she, ne she needs to know how to be able to parry those leg kicks or or at the same time, duck a leg kick, you know, where like dodge the leg kick by moving her lead leg back because she's eating these leg kicks. And I was like, whoa, these calf kicks are really tearing her down. And I think they were slowing her down. But for some reason, Sabina Mazza was not registering these uh, these calf kicks. Good shots and good exchanges up the middle. But the last 20 seconds, Alexis Davis, she secured the round with another takedown. So I had to give her that round as well. Um, last round, Alexis Davis brawling her way in, working her way in, just offsetting Mazo. Mazo at this time I'm looking for her to land some big shots maybe set up a head kick and just let her hands go uh, she's being active but at the same time it's still not a, it's still not good it's still not good enough to beat Alexis Davis you know Alexis Davis she's working that she's she's just using veteran work in there you know she's just showing us why she is a much more uh, polished fighter than Mazo just by staying busy committing to the harder shots and just showing some good grappling and just good control on the ground you know never let Mazo she was never letting Mazo get get any type of rhythm going, even on the ground, as far as her scrambling. Uh, she would never let her uh, get in a position to get up, you know. So, like I said, if Davis stayed busy and she just stayed in, in the chest and take took the fight to the ground, there was definitely a possibility that she was going to win this fight, and that's what happened. She executed a good game plan. 3-0 and for Alexis Davis. Great schooling by Davis. Uh, she looked good at this weight. She did well with her leg kicks. Beautiful calf kicks, man. Just those beautiful calf kicks. Uh, ripping um, Sabina Mazo. Uh, Sabina Mazo was just completely ignoring him while she was throwing her punches. You can't do that, man, because if you do that, eventually you'll see physically some damage in your body. You won't notice it, but at the last minute, you'll just break down, and, and that'll be it. Sim similar to like how Dustin Poirier did to Conor McGregor. You just can't ignore those shots. 
And um, once again, I feel like Sabina Miles of her downfall in this fight, similar to Justine Keish, which she still was able to win at the end with that knockout or that submission set up by, you know, the head kick, you know, uh, was her inactivity. You know, she's a very slow starter. She has to pick it up in there and use, use, use her strengths to, you know, to the best of her ability and also just work on her ground game. You know, I think that's something that she really needs to work on because, again, Alexis Davis, you know, she just went in there and really put the weight on her and really just put her in positions that she really looked uncomfortable in. You know, uh, Sabina Mazzo was able in the first round to kind of roll over to uh, to prevent a, a rear naked choke, but at the same time, she still looked uncomfortable and she didn't really know how to, like, control the wrist or just stay active and use strikes to kind of uh, nullify the attack from Alexa, uh, Alexis Davis. So, uh, yeah, overall, it was just a good uh, schooling by Alexis Davis. Uh, I think she looked good at 135. We'll see what happens from here. I think she definitely needs to stay at 135. Just take her out of the flyweight rankings and stay at 135 because at 36, I feel like this is the best and strongest weight for Alexis Davis. As for uh, Sabina Mazzo, young prospect, you know, she has that tall, long frame, and she really didn't look comfortable at this weight like I thought she might have would have. Like, the power didn't really... Uh, the power didn't really transition to 135. So go back down the flyweight. Go back down the flyweight. You're only 23. And I feel like that's the best uh, division for her where she can stay the most competitive. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got on this one. Um, let me know in the comment section what y'all thought, thought of this fight. Once again, Sabina Mazo in no way was exposed or, you know, psychologically damaged in this fight where she was just broken down or dominated. She was just schooled. She was just schooled because she's a 23-year-old prospect that's still learning. You know, I feel like her skill set can get better and better it's all about execution baby <laughs> it's all about execution in these fights but yeah man that's all i got combo breaker 99 i'm out subscribe peace